So hi, Microbe Hunter here. Well, one of my viewers recently asked me which uh, microscope slides and cover glasses uh, I recommend. And I think that's a good uh, question. So I would like to give you in this video a short overview of the different types of cover glasses and microscope slides that there are. And then at the end of the video, I'd like to give you a recommendation because I actually do have a recommendation which ones you should buy. So this here is uh, a standard microscope slide. Uh, it is actually one of the cheaper slides uh, that uh, I'm using. I'm going to show you later some uh, high, more higher quality slides as well. The size of a microscope slide is approximately 75 millimeters, which is three inches by about 25 millimeters, which is one inch. And uh, pretty much all microscope slides um, have this size. Now, if you look at the corners, at the edges here, you're going to see that the edge here on the side, uh, it's approximately one millimeter thick, um, is quite shiny. And the reason is, is that the glass is cut and the edges are quite sharp. Also, the edges here are 90 degrees, uh, so the corners are quite sharp. And uh, it's possible that you can injure yourself um, if you handle the slider not uh, carefully enough. And of course, there's also the possibility of glass chipping off a little bit. And of course, the small uh, glass shards, they can also, of course, also cause uh, some injuries. Now, um, there are also other microscope slides around, a slightly higher quality. And if you uh, look uh, at them from the side, uh, then you're going to see that the edges are so-called ground edges. They're not quite as shiny. Um, and it, it looks a little bit, yeah, smoother. Um, it's smoother and you can also not injure yourself as much. So it's actually um, a security feature. And the corners, look carefully at the corners, barely visible. They are 45 degrees. So even the corners are rounded off a little bit. Um, now, why are they doing that? They're doing that because in the medical field, there is, of course, the danger of injuring yourself. A little bit, you can see, ah, there is a little bit of glass also chipped off here. Yeah, I'm interrupting myself. In the medical field, you do not want to injure yourself because uh, this can then also be a cause for an infection. And for this reason, uh, some of the microscope slides are slightly of slightly higher quality. Um, there are also yet other slides and they have a so-called a frosted edge. Um, and uh, this allows you to uh, label the slide directly, not only with a pencil, but even with a ball pen. Um, and uh, it's uh, remarkably stable, the writing, because you cannot uh, wipe it off and you need to use alcohol here. Well, there are also some automatic devices that are mounting the slides and glass pieces that come off, um, of course, uh, might also ha um, harm uh, the, yeah, the electronics maybe, or maybe not so much the electronics, but the mechanical system. And for this reason, um, you sometimes also use more sli slightly higher quality slides that have slides that have ground edges and also uh, 45 degree corners like uh, you have here. Now, when you look at the slides in a pack, like over here, uh, then you can actually see it much better that the corners here have 45 degrees. And the slides, they come in all sorts of variations. Some uh, slides have those uh, 45 degree corners, um, others like uh, these do not. Some have ground edges, others do not. Um, some have all the frosted sides, others do not. Yeah, so the variations are wide. Yeah, and of course, uh, those 45 degree corners can be an advantage um, also when putting the slide into uh, the slide holder on the stage because this also kind of prevents chipping a little bit. So I'm going to now open this uh, pack of slides here and also a second pack of slides that I have here. And uh, let's uh, look at them uh, right after um, I open them and uh, look here. You see both of them on the left side, you see uh, slides, the cheaper slides with the cut edges. And on the right side, the slightly more expensive slides with 45 degree corners and also the ground edges. You can see the difference is, is quite visible. Now those slides here, look carefully, they even uh, are separated uh, by a piece of paper to prevent the slides uh, from, from sticking together. So you see that also the packaging is a little bit more elaborate here. And this of course also causes uh, the price of those slides to be a little bit higher. So generally I will reuse those slides, I will clean them, I will wash them. And look, when they come out of the box, yeah, the reflection of the lamp shows that the slide is pretty clean and usable as it is. Now let's open up uh, the other pack here. These are quite uh, low cost economical slides. They're, they're disposable, of course. Uh, I sometimes also wash them, but uh, actually they're so cheap that uh, you simply also might uh, throw them away. Uh, actually, the labeling is in German here. It says here, cut edges uh, without uh, frosting. And so they're the different companies and different uh, brands, they ma manufacture all sorts of different slides uh, with uh, different yeah, 
types of uh, yeah, features, so to say. Yeah, so here, again, that's the one that you have already seen before. And look, uh, these lights are sticking together a little bit here because, of course, they're not separated uh, with paper. Yeah, so you see that it's not a big disadvantage, but it's simply something that you have to be um, aware of. That's why they are much more cheaper. Yeah, and if you look a little bit, I don't know if you can see this, uh, but they're not quite as clean as the others. Now, those here, that's kind of interesting. It says here, with an indentation, and in the English translation, with immersion. I don't know what immersion means. You're confusing this with immersion oil. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this, of course, doesn't make uh, any sense, but what they actually meant is an indentation here. So it's actually labeled wrong. Um, yeah, these are just uh, regular standard slides. Uh, and here it says here, they're cleaned and ready to use, but actually these were the ones that uh, yeah, we're not uh, quite as clean um, either, but yeah, it's okay. I guess for routine laboratory work, it might actually work. Yeah, see here the two slides. The bottom one, um, yeah, is uh, the one that uh, fresh out of the box, and you can see it's a little bit dirtier than the other one on the top. Yeah, so not a big deal for me because I always end up uh, cleaning the slides anyway. I will dry wipe them anyway, so I don't really mind if uh, they're clean um, or not. But it actually shows that yeah, you cannot always trust uh, what's written on the package. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't consider this to be a clean slide. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't really matter for routine laboratory use. But uh, for using it for making my YouTube videos, it's not uh, good enough uh, because I actually I will see the dirt a little bit, the grease, I think. Yeah, so then let's talk about those cover glasses here. These are 18 millimeter cover glasses. Um, and uh, yeah, they're about uh, 0 0.17 millimeters thick. Also, if you look here, they're also not entirely clean. Also not a big problem for me because I will also dry wipe them. Uh, but uh, looking at the reflection of the lamp is also a very good uh, way of determining if uh, the slides are clean or not. These are slightly larger ones, uh, 22 millimeters uh, yeah, in size. They come in all sorts of, of size and shapes. This one over here is also 22 millimeters, has a thickness of 0 0.13 to 0 0.17 millimeters. Yeah, so um, it, the thickness is important because it does influence uh, the resolution a little bit and uh, most uh, um, objectives are actually for cover glass thickness of around 0 0.17 millimeters. They are also round uh, um, cover glasses. Um, here, that's a pretty new one over here. It's uh, packaged again in paper. And those uh, round cover glasses are uh, made uh, for uh, so that uh, to make permanent slides. So I'm also going to carefully take out one of those and have a closer look at one of these here. Um, yeah, they're of course more expensive again. Um, so I'm not using those for routine laboratory use because they're uh, too expensive. And if you look at it uh, also carefully and uh, look at the reflection um, in the light, you're going to see that it's also not entirely clean. So you also have to dry wipe them. I, I think it's from the manufacturing process. Yeah, Look, that's an example. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, you see that the black ring that you see here, that is uh, um, a sealing of the cover glass. Sometimes you don't need that. It depends on the mounting medium that, you, that you're using. Um, to kind of uh, prevent complete drying of the mounting medium or to prevent absorption of, of, of water. Yeah? Of course, uh, they also come in different sizes. Yeah, I'm just showing you here the different sizes based on, on permanent slides. Yeah? And uh, yeah, um, I rarely uh, use uh, the, the round uh, cover glasses because uh, yeah, I mostly make temporary slides. I like those the most. These are pretty large cover glasses. Um, and uh, I also reuse them and here you can see again it's not quite clean you have to dry wipe them as well I like to use them a lot also here the thickness 0 0.13 to 0 0.16 millimeters and the size is 24 times 50 millimeters so okay now you would like uh, to hear my recommendation <laughs> obviously it's clear uh, with all factors being equal and money not playing a role, I definitely would recommend that you buy microscope slides that have 45 degree corners and uh, ground edges. Um, whether they're clean or not is not so important because you can easily clean them yourselves when they come out of the package. But the reason why I recommend those is, is because if you do end up cleaning your microscope slides using some, some detergent maybe and of course water, um, then you will be of course using your fingers uh, most likely to clean off the slide and uh, this reduces significantly the danger of injury and it's simply more convenient as well because it doesn't hurt your fingers as much. 
Um, also, uh, another thing that I want to say is, is that uh, with it, there are of course always possibilities for small glass pieces chipping off if the edges are not ground and those small gla glass pieces of course can also cause injury or they can maybe fall down somewhere. So I think it's, it's always a good idea to make sure that uh, there are not uh, yeah, glass particles uh, flying around and if uh, the glass slides have been uh, ground then this uh, possibility is of course much smaller. Now I tried myself to actually use very fine sandpaper uh, to smoothen um, all the edges here. It is possible, it's a lot of work uh, probably not really worth it uh, and uh, there is again the possibility of injury here. Well and concerning the cover glasses I really like the large cover glasses which are approximately five centimeters in length because uh, it simply allows me to place a water sample on the slide and to use the maximum area possible. Uh, but again I think that all of those discussions are a little bit yeah I think uh, theoretical maybe. Uh, just use that whatever works for you. Uh, I think the differences are not so big. Uh, yeah and after all let's have a little bit of fun with the microscope and uh, observe the environment and for that pretty much uh, all products are gonna work. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye bye.